Detroit rapper Eminem stepped into the political arena Tuesday in his hometown, where he spoke briefly at a rally for Vice President Kamala Harris's presidential campaign before welcoming former President Barack Obama to the stage. He said people shouldn't be afraid of retribution or of making their opinion known, adding that Harris supports a future for this country where these freedoms and many others will be protected and upheld. The Detroit rapper then introduced Obama, who took the stage to the beat of Eminem's Lose Yourself. The former president joked that he noticed my palms are sweaty, a reference to the hit song, before rapping several lines from it. I don't usually get nervous, but I was feeling some kind of way following Eminem, Obama said. Eminem, a longtime critic of former President Donald Trump, told the crowd, I think it's important to use your voice. So I'm encouraging everybody to get out and vote. He said people shouldn't be afraid of retribution or of making their opinion known, adding that Harris supports a future for this country where these freedoms and many others will be protected and upheld. The appearance by Obama and Eminem comes just days before early voting kicks off across Michigan. Democrats hope the star-studded event, which also featured former Lions wide receiver and NFL Hall of Famer Calvin Johnson, will boost enthusiasm among voters. Voter turnout in Detroit, a longtime Democratic stronghold, will be crucial in determining who wins the state in November, when Michigan is among a handful of swing states expected to determine who wins the presidency as well as control of the U.S. Senate. Democrat Alyssa Slotkin, who faces Republican Mike Rogers for an open Senate seat, appeared alongside Obama at the rally. And I think it's important to use your voice. So I'm encouraging everybody to get out and vote, please. I also think that people shouldn't be afraid to express their opinions. And I don't think anyone wants an America where people are worried about retribution or what people will do if you make your opinion known. I think Vice President Harris supports a future for this country where these freedoms and many others will be protected and upheld. A Russian attack on the northeastern Ukrainian city of Sumy overnight killed at least three people, including a 14-year-old girl, and injured one, the regional prosecutor's office said on Tuesday. The strike targeted residential and critical infrastructure, according to local authorities. Video released by Sumy's state emergency service showed rescue workers dousing flames and clearing debris in darkness at the scene. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky reacted to the attack on his Telegram page, saying what needed to be done to protect Ukraine from such Russian terror. It can be overcome only thanks to unity with the world, anti-aircraft defenses and electronic warfare systems, long-range strikes on Russian military logistics, military airfields and bases where Russian troops are located. All this can protect against Russian terror, Zelensky wrote on Tuesday afternoon. Ukraine's Air Force says Russia launched 60 Shahid drones at Ukraine on Monday night into Tuesday. Among them 42 were intercepted, 10 jammed, and 4 drones flew to Belarus or within Russia itself. Thank you. 